Hi, everyone. Good morning. Yes. You so, um, uh, the relevance, why we made them stand up? Well, the relevance is that it is our national anthem, and it's a great thing to, to stand up and sing. It makes, brings a lump in my throat every time. And, and honestly, we just stand. I think everybody should always sing out the national anthem nice no. and loud, yes. you know. But that's great. But the relevance of this particular thing is that uh, even before independence and before this national anthem became our, our national anthem, this was used in a film in 1945, a Bimala film called Hamrahi. Yes. And uh, it, was part, it was a song in the film, could you believe it? And then it went on to become the national anthem. I think it's a great little piece of trivia and a great story. And I think we should all be very proud. And, and we are indebted to the man even more uh, today, in more ways than one. And we'll talk about that later. Yes. So uh, the association with Z Cinema on why you agreed to come on board as a presenter for this. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for being here. I don't know, there was a slight delay. Uh, yes. I, I don't yes. like delays. I was waiting also, waiting for a few people. Is that yes. right? Can, yes. Is it yes. fair to say? We have two sectors, Indore and Bhopal, which have yet to yeah, so, come in. So. so just so that to make sure, yes. please, everybody, don't look at me. I was <laughs> waiting outside. <laughs> no, it's one of you guys who are late, not <laughs> me. Okay. I came here on the dot. You, some of you may have seen me. Here. Right. So first of all, good morning. Uh, and even, even so, we apologize for starting, whatever reason, a little late. Uh, not, a, not a great thing. Ah, cameraman. Hello. How are you guys? Yeah. Um, I was told that uh, Z Classic was wanting to uh, uh, do a Bilim, Bimal Roy Film Festival. Now, as far as I'm concerned, ever since I was a child, I have been nurtured on my khorak, which was films. I was in school, I was watching films. And my mother used to encourage me to watch films. It's a joke that the mother says that she doesn't do homework, she's not doing homework, she's not doing well in class, but she used to encourage me to go and watch movies. In my house, there is a theater today. It's the same theater, but it's been closed. It's called the Alexander Cinema on Belasis Road, near Bombay Central, Grant Road side. So there are two things that I am very grateful, three actually, for, for keeping me interested and nurturing my interest in cinema and acting and direction. One is my mother, two is the Alexander Cinema, and three was Durdarshan. Every Sunday, we used to wait at around 11 o'clock. Bhar khelte hote to they used to announce the week's program. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm <coughs> I just have to add, I didn't want to say it till I coughed for the first time, but I'm, I've got the flu and I had a fever last night. But can never let down the press, can we? <laughs> so, uh, so to continue. Nay, no, darling, it's okay. So, hum log ghar mein bhaagte the. I don't know what the name of the program is. Joan, log weekly and saptahi ki. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so sorry if I keep coughing in the mic. So, hum log do char cheese we wanted to find out, which was the Sunday movie, or the and the Saturday movie also is very important. And there was a regional movie on Saturday. And Sunday evening, there used to be a 6 or 7 baje Hindi feature film. We used to find out uh, that some songs of Chhaya Geet and some cricket program pe kya dikhane wale because this to be just a weekly program on sports roundup. Kya, matlab, can you imagine the pace of uh, Durdarshan those days? So I had the opportunity as a little boy and I used to go to my neighbor's house to watch. Baju ke ghar mein, humare paas TV bhi nahi thai, hum log neighbor ke ghar mein 15-20 bachche bhaihte thai wahan pe aur saath mein gade pe takya wakya laga ke aur wo popular programs dekhte thai aur mein aur mere neighbor ki dada dadi ke saath bhaihte ke ye picture dekhta tha. To us mein ye picture thi do bhiga zameen. I got taken up, madab mujhe samad mein nia hai ke how the movies that we were watching in those days, this was pretty different. The movies that we are watching these days, this is completely different. And I saw this great person who, for me, if there's a reason why I'm an actor and want to be an actor in Indian cinema, was this person, Balraj Sani. film, you won't believe, I was completely shocked at the way he pulled that rickshaw all over Kolkata. Or I credit titles. As a child, I always studied every picture's credit titles. बहुत स्टडी करता था 
आज भी स्टडी करता हूँ मैं कभी भी थिएटर को छोड़ूंगा नहीं हमारी पिक्चर खत्म हो जाती है तो मैं खड़े रहकर क्रेडिट टाइल्स देखता हूँ कि कौन किसने क्या किया एंड बलराज जी जस्ट मैं रोने लगा ऐसे दिस इज समथिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी सम वन दिस इज द वे यू शुड बी एंड बिमल रॉय वॉज द डायरेक्टर ग्रेट लिटरेचर स्टोरी एंड ऋषिकेश मुखर्जी वॉज द असिस्टेंट एडिटर उस फिल्म में and i read that name sir rishikesh mukherjee itne great director assistant editor the wow aur ye itne great ban sakte and that movie actually changed my whole approach to a lot of things sath sath mein us waqt maine ye pyasa bhi dekhte rehta tha lekin for that's for another festival if you need me for another festival if they sign me up wonderful to hum log wo festival meri ek hint hai aapko gurudatt ki bhi festival hame karni chahiye gurudatt ji hai na and but i would really recommend that there should be a young iconic actor younger than me young actor to present so we get up you know i think that youngsters have we have forgotten our treasures so i am grateful to durdarshan ki hum har hafte ek picture dekhte the aur purane gaane bhi sunte the aaj bhi hum jab antakshari khelte hain hamare bacche wo picture dekh nahi bhi dekh dekhe honge they still sing old songs latest gaane antakshari mein koi gaata hi nahi or these are the songs that even these kids have never seen those movies but somehow they know the movies they know the songs ऐसा क्यों बिकॉज दे वर ग्रेट सिमिलरली दीज मूवीज आर ग्रेट वर्ल्ड क्लास फिल्म एंड आई फील दैट देर आर हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी चैनल अवेलेबल टू अस इफ यू फ्लिक हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी चैनल आपका पौना घंटा निकल जाएगा इफ यू पुट फॉर वन वन सेकेंड ऑल्सो जो चैनल सर्फिंग जो कहते हैं उसमें से एक भी चैनल नहीं है जो हमें हमारे ट्रेजर्स दिखाते हैं एंड इमीडिएटली वेन दे अप्रोच मी फॉर दिस आई सेट आई एम ऑन I am on. It is very important to take the treasure, the national treasures we have, to the next generation. Keep passing it to the next generation, because when you see movies like this, you will be inspired to make better movies. Simple hai. Maybe logic simple hai na? Am I am I making sense at all? Nobody is answering only. This lady is playing with her hair. Yaar. Ma'am, ma'am. Meetha. Meetha. Am I making sense or not? So. Uh, I I am very very proud to be associated with, and I am very grateful to Z Classic to bring this one channel in a hundred and eighty channels to something that was shown in the sixties and seventies on Doordarshan in four hours of programming. हफ्ते में एक पिक्चर तो आती थी. चार घंटे के प्रोग्रामिंग में छः या सात बजे शुरू होती थी हमारी Doordarshan. वो एम्ब्लेम आता था. उसके एम्ब्लेम के टाइम पे ही जाके बैठ जाते थे. वो चलते रहता था हम लोग बैठते थे शुरू होते चार घंटे की प्रोग्रामिंग में मैंने कितनी ऐसी फिल्म देखी है विच हैव इन्फ्लुएंस्ड मी एंड प्रोबेबली मेड मी द एक्टर दैट आई एम टुडे सो थैंक यू वेरी मच आई थिंक वी शुड गिव जी अ राउंड ऑफ अप्लॉज फॉर दिस यार चलो ना यार ओके यू वांट टू सी द प्रोग्राम कैन वी वॉच द ए बी प्लीज we open the field for questions uh, if you would just raise your hand we'll pass the mic on to you mic please sawal ye hai ki ye jo karyakram shuru kiya jaye bimal rai karke iska maqsad kya hai aur kyon kiya ja raha hai sabse pehla sawal okay maqsad i think i explain the maqsad i'll yes. repeat it yes. maqsad simple hai ki hamare paas agar itne treasures hai itne classics hai kya wo hum कैंद में ही रहने दे और हमारी जो आज की जेनरेशन दैट इज दैट इज वॉचिंग फिल्म टूडे वाई शुड वी डिप्राइव दम ऑफ दो क्लासिक्स हमारे जो भी ट्रेजर्स हैं हम म्यूजियम में रखते हैं बट दीज थिंग्स कैन बी शोन ऑन टेलीविजन नो एंड दे शुड बी शोन ऑन टेलीविजन बिकॉज दिस दीज आर द फिल्म दैट एक्चुअली डिफाइंड इंडियन सिनेमा तो मकसद आई थिंक इट्स वेरी क्लियर टू एवरी वन दैट वी हैव दिस ट्रेजर्स इट्स आवर्स it's india's these are the greatest filmmakers of india why should they be forgotten why it's a very simple answer i, I think that what you have what is great if you're going to put it away and keep uh, keep pretending as if it never existed this exists it is yours it is yours it is the children's it is of the next generation it, we, we we owe it to the next generation to show it to them durdarshan as i said was was showing it to us and we are talking about 70s these movies are from the 40s So 30 years later, they were still showing it to us. Now 30 years later, after that, I don't you think it is right that when Z Classic comes up with such a fantastic idea, 
that we should do it. Glamour, glamour film is more than that. Yes, sir, sorry. Glamour film is more than that. Yes. That's why people have been away from this kind of film. छूट चुके हैं पीछे बहुत पीछे चले गए हैं right. तो क्या आपको लगता है कि अभी ये कार्यक्रम स्टार्ट करने से फिर से दर्शक जुड़ना चाहेंगे नहीं आई डोंट थिंक वी आर हेयर टू चेंज पीपल उस जमाने में भी 60s एंड 70s 60s में भी ग्लैमर फिल्म्स बना बनाया करते थे ये तो दीज आर वेरी सिलेक्टेड पिक्चर्स ऑफ द फिफ्टीज एंड सिक्सटीज सिक्सटीज एंड सिक्सटीज में भी बहुत बी ग्रेट फिल्म भी बनती थी ऐसी बात नहीं है बट दिस इज द सिलेक्टेड वर्जन ऑफ दो ग्रेट पीपल हर पिक्चर तो नहीं दिखा रहे हम वी आर शोइंग द ग्रेट स्टाफ एंड वी आर नॉट हेयर टू चेंज पीपल वी आर नॉट सेइंग कि अभी आप इन्फ्लुएंस हो जाओ वी आर जस्ट हेयर टू इन अ फॉर्म लेट यू नो कि ये हमारी फिल्म की ट्रेजर्स हैं अगर आपको देखनी है ग्रेट अगर आपको इन्फ्लुएंस होना है ग्रेट हम नहीं कह रहे ऐसी फिल्में बनानी चाहिए बट दिस वॉ जैसे यू वी में ए वी में बताया गया दैट दिस वॉ प्रोग्रेसिव फिल्म हो दोज डेज जो सब्जेक्ट्स थे वो बहुत ही प्रोग्रेसिव थे मॉडर्न फॉर दोज टाइम्स मैं तो मैं तो कहता हूँ कि आज के तारीख में भी ये मॉडर्न सब्जेक्ट्स है क्योंकि सरकार का सिनेमा जिस तरह की होते हैं जो भी सिनेमा है चल रही है सामाजिक सरकार पे केंद्रित रहती है जितने भी पुराने दौर के सिनेमा हैं जी वो आज भी हमारे रायपुर में एक ऐसे संस्थान है जो सरोकार का थोड़ा माइक थोड़ा जो सरोकार का सिनेमा चालू किया हुआ है और महीने में एक बार ऐसी मूवी दिखाया जाता है जो सामाजिक की सारी दृश्यों को केंद्रित करता है सोशल सब्जेक्ट जी तो उससे एक पर्टिकुलर दर्शक बनते जा रहे हैं मतलब उनका एक मोटो है कि दर्शकों को बांधना पुराने दौर की फिल्मों को लाकर जो सामाजिक समस्याएं हैं तो इस तरह के क्या आपको लगता है कि चैनलों में भी इस तरह के कार्यक्रम लगातार होने चाहिए अगर वो हुआ तो बहुत कमाल कमाल हो जाएगा लेकिन हम तो यही मैं सिंपली बोल रहा हूँ कि ये फॉगॉटन क्लासिक्स है और हमारा एक ड्यूटी बनता है कि शो इट टू द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सिंपल फिर आगे जो होता है वो अलग बात है बट वाई कीप इट इन द कबर्ड कोई अच्छी चीज़ हमारे आपके कबर्ड में एक अच्छा खासा सूट हो तो आप निकाल के पहनेंगे क्यों नहीं इट्स सिंपल इज दैट फिर बोलेंगे ये नया स्टाइल बनाओ ऐसे ही सूट पहनते जाओ इट्स इट्स देयर एटलीस्ट दिखाओ सबको कि ये जमाने में ऐसे सूट बना बना करते थे यू नो आई आई थिंक इट्स वी नॉट हेयर टू चेंज एनी थिंग जस्ट पुलिंग आउट फॉर वॉट इज फॉर एंड प्रजेंटिंग इट टू द न्यू जनरेशन एंड टू मी एंड टू माई जनरेशन एंड टू माई टू माई मदर हु विल इन्जॉय वॉचिंग इट वाई नॉट है ना Hi, Bhavan. Hi. Uh, this is Pooja Samant here. Hi, Pooja. Thanks for smiling so wide from there. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, wanted to know from you, the, um, which are the films of Bimal Roy that really made impact on your life? How the films were so influential, and how they are relevant even in today's era? Absolutely. The, as I mentioned, I, uh, all Bimal Roy films are great. You know, you can't be you know selective. But the one that impacted me, as I said in the earlier thing, was Do Bhiga Zameen. and more it was a tragedy of sorts he goes back he works to get his land back and let me give you a piece of trivia that the ending of the film was very different from the one which has been released the film was that his wife paro again nirupa roy uh, he gets his land back he goes he works as a rickshaw up makes the money he gets his land back paro dies ye earlier uh, nirupa roy dies he loses his wife and the audience has cried and cried and cried earlier mein aur bahut hi tragic ho gaya so they decided to change the ending paro lives nirupa roy lives so he gets his love but when he goes to get back his land the land has a factory on it so even if he wanted he could not get his land back which is also a tragedy but it was a wonderful statement about the industrialization of india of those times this is what is going to happen and how does one cope with it but two bimal roy decided to keep nirupa alive so that at least he's got love in his life and then there is hope without hope there is nothing so this actually must have moved me in a big way and also as i said it moved me and influenced me as an actor and i called during the research of this i called up mr parikshit sahani and i said i'm watching do bhiga zameen and we are presenting it and he was so happy and such a wonderful person he always calls everybody brother brother very happy bro brother very good and i said up up uh, give me some experiences as you may have had as a child with your father and he was so candid and so honest that <coughs> beg your pardon 
that when Balraj ji went to meet, this is a story of hope, let me tell you. This is a story of hope. When Balraj ji went to meet Bimalda, I think Rishikesh Mukherjee sahab said that he's done one film, have a look at this actor. Uh, Balraj ji was English speaking, came from England, had done law, suited, booted, it put powder on his face. It's in his biography too. It put powder on his face and went to meet Bimalda. Bimalda, without even making him say one word, he said, bye bye, thank you, nahi chahiye. So he's a, he's a pretty decent actor. He says, no, 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 this is a rickshaw wala. This is a farmer. He has to run on the streets of Kolkata with a rickshaw in his hand. There will be no special effects. I want somebody who looks rugged and Indian. And Balraj ji got very upset that this is right. I was suit boot and I was talking English. I was in England. I was highly educated. He went back, changed his clothes, went back and did an audition. And according to Parikshit ji, that the audition was very bad. Because he felt that dad did not know how to act. Socho, Balraj ji, by his own admission, said he did not know how to act. So he went back again. And he read all great books on acting. He read Konstantin Stanislavski's Actor Prepares. He read and read and read and read. And he put it into practice. And he says for months, he would... He would get into the character, wear those clothes, walk in a particular way. And in my opinion, he's one of India's first great method actors. And he's saying, no one was with him, so they would take his mother and daughter to the rickshaw. And he used to run around Kolkata for hours, till his, the webbing of his feet used to crack. So even if people turn around and tell you, you are not a good actor, you can work and become a good actor. And he says, I used, to get, I, used to, I used to freeze before facing the camera. Balraj ji has said this. And then you see what he's gone and done. So this is the great, great relevance. And I spoke to you about uh, Dobi Gazameen and the industrialization and the plight of the farmer. I think these movies are way ahead of their time. And it is very important, sir, that we see these movies today for these things. Some young actor will see Balraj ji and feel so very 